Hello everyone, this is John with Kazumi. So in this video, I'll show you how to create your TBA or token-based authentication here in SyncApps to connect this in step one of your setup using NetSuite integrations. So let's take a look. So in SyncApps, there are two types of authentication you can use, either username and password or TBA or token-based authentication. But what we recommend here in SyncApps is to use the TBA instead of the traditional username and password as it has benefits like it can run multiple integrations at the same time using the same TBA. At the same time, the password does not expire and the username credential will not expose. So let's take a look. So here in my setup right now, this is how it looks like. So all we need when creating your um, TBA or token-based authentication is the consumer key, secret, token ID and token secret as well. So let's head to my NetSuite account. So just make sure that you have the administrator access to be able to do this one, all right? So first we'll click the we'll click the setup, then go to the company and click enable features. So once you are in the enable features, we will go then to the uh, Suite Cloud. So let's click Suite Cloud here, then try to scroll down then you can then see the manage authentication. So make sure that the token-based authentication is checked. So once done, all you need is to click Save Changes here, then you're all set. And the next step would be creating the new integration inside here in your NetSuite. So first, click Setup, go to the Integrations, then Manage Integrations, then click New, right? So once you click this one, in this case, I'll be naming my integration um, SyncApps uh, 4.0, right? Then make sure to uncheck the authorization code grant and check the TBA issue token uh, token endpoint and uncheck the TBA authorization flow. And make sure as well to check the user credential, then save changes. So once done, make sure to grab the consumer key and consumer secret as this will only display once. So when you create another setup, you can just copy this one and use it on the next setup that you'll be having here in SyncApps. All right. So let's try to copy this uh, consumer key. Then let's paste it and go back to our setup here in SyncApps and paste it here and grab again the consumer secret and head back to the SyncApps account and paste it again. All right, so once you're done, just head back into your NetSuite account, then we will then create a new role, All right? So first click the setup, then head to users and roles and click manage roles and create uh, manage roles. But in this case, um, I'll be using the role that I've already created. So let's uh, search for that one. Uh -huh. That would be Sync Apps TBA testing. Sync Apps TBA testing. There you go. Sync Apps role testing. So let's edit this one. So here in Sync Apps, um, there are um, required permissions that need to be set to full to be able to have a successful TBA. So once you have successfully set them to full, then you won't hit any error connecting them in step one of your setup. So I'm now in my role. Just make sure when you're creating your new role, check the sales role, support role. And let me show you here in the least permissions, there are nine permissions that you need to set to full and that are contact roles, contacts, customers, employee record, employees, marketing campaigns, marketing temp template, partners, and vendors. And under the setup, you have 12 permissions here that you need uh, You need to set it them to full, and that are CRM list, custom body fields, custom entity fields, custom fields, custom list, custom record types, customer status, deleted records, SOAP web services, set up SOAP web services, set up campaigns, and lastly, user access tokens. So once you set them to full, all you need is to save it, right? Then next, we will again go to the um, employees to make sure that under the 
uh, we can set the correct um, role on that employees. So let's just click uh, list employees, then click employees. Then from here, I'll be, since I'm using my um, account here, we'll be choose John Y, which is the one that I'm using, currently using right now. So click view. Then we will check if the cor if the role that we have created or the one that I have has been assigned to these employees. So let's click this one. There you go. So once you are in the employee, so you can see John Y, just scroll down, then head to the access and check the roles here. So you can see that I have already assigned the correct one, sync apps role testing. So I am all set here. And just make sure as well in the human resources, sales rep and support rep is checked as well. All right. So once you're done, just make sure to save it and you're all set. All right. So once you're done here, then we will then create the last step, which is to create the user, uh, the tokens. So let's click the setup again, go to the users and roles, then go to the access tokens and create new. So from here, we will then search for the application name that we have just created, which is the sync apps 4.0. There you go. Then the user should be here, which is Chan Y and the role should be sync up role testing and once done click save here there you go so just make sure to grab the token id as well and the token secret because this will only display once so you will be using this one as well if you create a new setup here in sync apps so let's grab the token id copy this one head to sync apps account click on the token id here and paste it Go back and grab again the token secret. Copy and paste it again in the token secret. Then make sure as well to specify the account ID. So you can get this one by just heading into your NetSuite account. Go to the setup. Go to the integrations. Click so web services preference, preferences. Then copy the account ID here. Just copy this one. And head back to SyncApps account and paste this one. There you go, then you're all set. So in this instance, let's just try to click all contacts to make sure that the TBA that I'm using will, won't hit any snags or error here. So once you click next, it should be all set. So this will take a few seconds as our system sync apps will read the TBA that you have input here to make sure everything was um, configured correctly. So once you're done here, all you need as well, once you head to step two, you can get, then get the MailChimp API key from your side then paste it then, then you're all set. Then your first setup would be set and it won't encounter any error in the future. So like this one, there you go, then you're all set, that's it. Again, this is John with uh, Kazumi. For more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to discuss any use cases live, I'll provide the link on the description box so we can hop on a call anytime.